In this video, horticulture professor Dr. Elena Garcia will discuss how to determine if table grapes are ready to harvest by measuring sugar content and assessing the color of the grape clusters. This video was filmed at Barnhill Orchards in Lone Oak, Arkansas in early August, while the grape project team was harvesting Jupiter grapes and assessing the other cultivars to determine when they would be ready for harvest. With table grapes, uh, one of the uh, determining factors for when the grape is ready in addition to color, uh, especially for those uh, grapes that are not, uh, do not change color like the, um, like the Jupiter or the ones that are red, you have uh, white grapes. And so in order to determine when they are ready, we do uh, what is called soluble solids or bricks and that is measuring the amount of sugars that is in the grape. Um, the amount of sugars in the grape uh, is, as I say, is an indication of ripeness, but each cultivar has its own average number that you use to determine when that grape is ready to be harvested. So what we do uh, is we collect, ran we randomly collect grapes from throughout uh, uh, the, the vineyard, uh, the same cultivar. And uh, then we, uh, so we collect about 50 berries. And uh, in a, this is a, something that you can do outside. Uh, there are more, um, uh, uh, what's the word I wanna use? <laughs> more exact methods that you can do in the lab. But if you are in the field, this is kind of what you can do. Again, you get the 50 uh, berries and then you mash them. Okay, so that you can get some juice out of them. And so you see here, this is uh, the 50 berries all mashed. And then what you do, then you use a refractometer. Okay, and the refractometer is the instrument that is going to be giving you the reading for the amount of sugars that are in the, in the grapes. And so what you do here then, after you may mash the, the berries, then you put a, um, you see it? Let me see. I'll clean it up, put some water, wipe it clean. You want to do this after each one. Okay, clean, and then you put. Um, and try not to get much uh, debris in that uh, because that's going to uh, make it, you can see the, here the, oops, the juices. Um, I actually put too much in there. There we go. And then we read the, the refractometer and it's going to give me a reading of 14.7. Okay. This grape is not ready until about 18 bricks. Or percent sugar and so we, we we will be waiting probably another week uh, before we come in and harvest although the grapes uh, might look ready uh, if the sugars are not there you don't want to harvest them because your consumer doesn't want doesn't want sour grapes now we'll go inside the high tunnel to assess the grapes based on color and appearance Jupiter cultivar and in um, in normal average sunlight year, we have had a very dark year, especially in the springtime. Uh, we uh, had about a third, for four or five months, we had about a third uh, uh, light, less than no average light um, falling on these grapes. Um, this very dark spring. So what we, uh, this, gra this grape, which should be turning uh, a red color, reddish color, like this uh, grapes over here. Uh, that's, uh, in addition to the sugars, that's another measurement that we look at, and that is the change in color of the berry. Um, the white grapes, what we're looking for, again, uh, the sugars need to be there, but we're also looking at a change in color. You can see here, uh, these grapes down here are greener where up here you start getting that uh, uh, golden 
yellow color and that's an indication that these grapes are about to be ready to be harvested they probably need at least another week if not two weeks before we harvest them and by the time they get ready to be ripened the whole uh, cluster should be uh, this beautiful yellow golden color